Hi everybody, this is Ryan Miller. Today we are going to South Royalton, Vermont to meet up with Jamie Mansell. He is an inventor, an engineer. He made a crazy jungle gym house whose third floor is a trampoline. He has a YouTube channel with tens of thousands of followers that documents his giant robot project, his love of chain mail, and his general philosophies of life. So let's pack up our stuff and go make friends. Making friends with Ryan Miller. Making friends, making friends. Jamie Mansell's in this episode of Making Friends. Hi, just driving to Vermont. Oh, it's, I don't know where I'm going though. Lived in New York and and have been a musician, like full-time artist my whole life. And then my wife's from Vermont. And when we had our second kid, she was like, I'm done living in New York. Then it was sort of like, well, where's the weirdos? Like, where's all the high-functioning weirdos? You don't have to come get us. That was, You're ruining like the whole discovery part of this. Because I wanted to like come in out of the woods and be like, hey, we found it. We made it all happen. I'm Ryan, by the way. Hi, I'm James. Nice to meet you. So I live up here like a hermit, but I also want to engage people in, in fun ways and you know hang out and do cool stuff. But it's just a, a, a consequence of the culture we're in. Like there are a lot of laws, <laughs> for one, that prevent you from doing interesting things. What if I want to build a roundhouse? Because it's structurally super awesome and trees can land on it and they bounce off and it's super fun and you can climb on the walls. Yes. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna get to do this so soon. <laughs> Wait, that's where we came in? Is that second floor or first floor? Yeah, that's first floor. Yeah, first I didn't second. quite understand. So is the trampoline part of the initial design? Like when Yeah, it was actually. Yeah. <laughs> People kept telling me throughout my life, you know, people can't do whatever they want because they'll just do nothing or go crazy killing people. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wait, what if I actually just did whatever I want? Like, I don't, I don't think it'll go horribly like people keep telling me. So, you know, I did some stuff I didn't want to do and saved up some money and then bought this land here. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to stuff all my life in my car, come up here, just cut ties with everything else and just do whatever I want and see what happens. And, you know, I wanted to build this giant robot. And then people started wanting to pay money for things that I'm doing, you know, either to watch it on in videos online or, you know, I've got these things I've built, like this robot that's now a toy in stores. Mm -hmm. Are you proud of that? Yeah, I think they're totally awesome. Now the idea is to move to the water. Yeah, I've wanted to live near the water for a long time. The plan is adventure and explore <laughs> and <laughs> seek out opportunity. And when it comes up, analyze it and be like, is that the opportunity? Yes, right. and jump on it. I want to create this um, way of living that makes sense with my values and values I know a lot of other people share and then make videos about it and show it and say, look, there are other ways to live. You know, you don't have to create six bags of garbage every week. Is that a gorilla skull? It's a gorilla skull, yeah. <laughs> did you make this? No. I did. You did? Yeah. Can I call you an artist? You can call me an artist or whatever you okay. want. Okay. But the thing I get out of doing that stuff is uh, inside me. Right, like, I you're not an attachment to what you've made after you've made it. Right, because I've learned everything about, well, not everything, but I've learned everything I can from that thing once it's finished. So this is happening soon, huh? Yeah, like uh, Monday, we're taking Jeez. off. So yeah. you're, you're condensing what, like probably 68,000 square feet of stuff yeah. into like four cubic feet of stuff? Something like that. There's only one question at the end of make friends. Is, can, we, can we make friends? Uh, are we friends? I'm going to see if you come and hang out some more. Okay, All if right. I get invited back, okay. All right. Potentially. If you come Make back friends. before, like, before I before move Monday? out of this house, like Monday. <laughs> I know. What? That was crazy. <laughs> that was the craziest. 
it was cool. Like that dude is totally built on dichotomy about being misanthropic and also really embracing humanity and being a recluse and also really being sociable and easy, like in social situation. I mean, I just never met that guy. We talked for four hours, like it was nothing. He's walking the walk. It's not just like, oh yeah, you know, you can go, go in that jungle gym. It's like, no, they live in the woods. They live in a gigantic jungle gym. And there's a trampoline that's the entire third story. When you meet those people in LA and in New York, they're not living it to that extreme. Like this is like, this is what the cool part about the Vermont experience is, is that I'm after big personalities that are doers, and here you're really allowed to be really big. That went as well as it could, so, I don't know. What would Jamie say? WWJD, what would he do? He'd be like, all right, on to the next adventure.